And turning to the Middle East, Jordan is following through on its promise to take revenge against the Islamic State militant group for the horrific killing of its young pilot. So, Paul, the Jordanian government is not wasting any time. How is this new campaign unfolding? Well, Jordan's foreign minister, Nasser Judeh, says they've launched waves of airstrikes on some of the group's key positions in Syria on Thursday with plans to expand those bombing runs to strongholds in Iraq. He said Jordan is hitting IS with everything they've got and that the military would, quote, take this all the way until the jihadist group is wiped out. Our Kwan Zua has more. This is just the beginning is what Jordan's military vowed after launching its first airstrikes against Islamic State since the extremists released a video this week showing Jordanian pilot Muath al qasasbe being burned alive in a cage. Jordan's army expressed its will on state television to take revenge on the militant group, showing footage of dozens of warplanes bombing what appeared to be munitions bases and training camps in northern Syria. Tens of Royal Jordanian Air Force aircraft launched consecutive airstrikes to demolish strongholds and holes of the terror organization Islamic State. Iraqi media reports more than 50 IS militants were killed, including a senior commander. After the raid, the fighter jets flew over the hometown of the deceased pilot as Jordan's King Abdullah was visiting the pilot's grieving family. Kasaspe's father, a key member of a powerful tribe in Jordan, reportedly said he got King Abdullah's word that his son's death would be avenged. On the day the gruesome execution video was released, he said the Jordanian government must take action. Jordan has already shown its fury by executing two Iraqi militants connected with IS, including the woman Jordan offered in exchange for Kasaspe's release. Jordan's airstrikes were the first since the pilot's capture in December brought them to a halt. Jordan is part of the U.S.-led coalition against Islamic State, but there's still a political divide within the country as to how much Jordan should be involved in this fight. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.